Uh, how do you get two two textures in the game from in Blender? If something's got two, it's pretty easy. Um, We'll just separate this ball into two halves. Which I'm in edit mode. Actually, you know what I got? I keep forgetting. I got this shortcut thing here that shows the keys I press. Which is not too easy. Not really easy to see it though. Pretty small down there, but you can see what I'm pressing. Uh, most of what I'm pressing. All right, so we'll just split this in half. Now, there's a way to do this without splitting it, but uh, it's just easier to cut it in two pieces. I just did watch a video on that, which you would think that's one of the first things you should learn in Blender, but uh, I didn't. So I'll just call this A1. I'll just stick just to just any texture on it, just something, just to put something on it. Put this grass on it here, and then on this side. A2. So it's got two textures. Uh, I'll just join the two objects together. Now remember, if you join two objects, always check like the UVs here. Pick the object. Pick this right here, this green thing, go to UV Maps. If that is the same as the one you're joining to, you won't have a problem. But if it's different, it'll mess up your texture. All you would do if it was different is you'd copy, just double click, copy, pick the other, whatever else you're merging, and then just paste. And then you won't have any problems merging two different textures. But we'll join these together. And see, we got two textures, and uh, I'll just add the two things that normally you would add for uh, yeah, the uh, base. These two empties here, <clears throat> they're like folders, but it's what the game looks for. And you just hold Shift, left click, drag, and drop. Uh, and then you take your object and stick it in there and uh, well you can use you can tell it to do the collisions with the final mesh and not even have this stuff but um, I've just always done it this way oh yeah uh, duplicate it and that's how I do my collision mesh. A lot of times I make different geometry for the object. I a lot of times I don't need nothing near as complex as some of the stuff I make to be the collision. Like the pothole I made just earlier today. It does not need collisions. 9,000 polygons for collisions for something simple. But anyway, let's uh, export this on to... Uh, I'll stick this on the desktop and uh, it's on folder. Uh, ball. I'll let it copy the textures into there. And it's already default to go in there anyway. Now there's two ways you can do the textures. Uh, the first way is a little more difficult, but it's the way I prefer to do it. But you don't have to do this if. Uh, if you want to skip, just skip to where you see the game loading, and then I'll show you how to do the other way, the other other way of doing it. So I have this blank materials file, and 
in this folder ball here where I just exported the model. I'm going to copy it into there. Now basically uh, with Notepad++ I'll open this and basically the two textures that are in here A1, A2, you'll put them in here but this is just one texture here. Uh, when you see a bracket and a bracket that's the last thing but if you see a bracket and a comma then you can have a second texture or third or fourth whatever so I'll copy this blank and I'll paste it here so we got two textures now now I just need to fill out the uh, you put the name three times here and then the second texture we'll put the name three times a2 and since we're just dealing with a color map we're going to put the color map that uh, for each one in here I think the grass was the first one so I'll just copy this and paste it right there and I'll do that with the second one put it in the second And save now normally I just copy this folder into um, like this I'll take this folder copy it and whatever level I want that ball to go in I'll just stick it in its uh, like one of the art folders like the art folder but it'll be in its own folder like this where to go uh, there it is because it has its own materials dot JSON file it can't be mixed with the one that's in the arts root folder now, you could merge them but I prefer to do it this way so if I want to put this in another level I can I just drag it and drop it in another one's art folder and it'll load now since this will make the texture when the game loads uh, the other way to do it is to not have this in here. This is what I. Uh, this is the other way to make it. The easier way. <laughs> Now since the game is making those two textures because of that folder, we'll just pretend for a moment that those two textures are A3 and A4. So you do that for 11, you get a new material added in, you just get new material. Uh, so you have the A3, create, and then you plug in that color map wherever you uh, exported that model to. If you're going to make the texture this way, you know, and you know, you can still put it in its own folder. It's up to you. And then you save it. And then you open the uh, YouTube and second material. It's like A4. Create color map. And that one will work. And save it. But since the game made both of those already, uh, I didn't have to really do this, but this is how you would do it. Now you would make the texture before you go into the asset browser. If you go into the asset browser without making the texture, if you didn't do the folder like I did just a minute ago, then you'd have a red texture. You have no texture. And it will not be corrected until after you make the correction. Reload the level. It won't fix it dynamically. Now it will if it's an orange texture, but if it's red, now you gotta reload, even if you make the correction. Alright, so I ain't seeing the ball here. No, there it is. I had it in the spawned in the ground. Okay, yeah, so that's how you do that. Pretty easy. Uh, I may have rushed through this and then makes 
something's not clear, just let me know if something's not clear. But that would be how you would do that. Um, so yeah, however many textures it is. Now anything I share, like all the stuff I share on the YouTube, um, they all come with the materials file and everything I make has its own folder. Like all these different things are all in their own folder, like this pothole I made today. So you can just take one of these main material files here and you can just rename the stuff. Oh, keep in mind too, you don't have to have this. The game does this after I, I went and did more stuff to the texture after the fact. The game wrote all this stuff, but it doesn't have to have this. In fact, it tells you to stop doing this because they're on a depreciate uh, dependency on these directories. All you need is the texture name and it be in the folder where that main materials file is. So yeah, they're going to be taking this out at some point, so get used to doing it that way. I mean, not... I mean, if you do it with this folder. And if you do it like this, well, then it's just going to do it however they save it. I wouldn't worry about it. But that's how you do that, and then of course, to do the collision, you just redo a collision, or hit control F7. If you did not do this way of here, where you don't have this collision mesh, and you just make a object like a sphere, so you don't have this at all, you just have a you just loaded Blender, you deleted that cube, you made something and it's like this. You could export it just like that. You still gotta do the textures, but once you're in the game, you can go to the object and tell it to collision type, the visible mesh final. Don't do this one, visible mesh. That's a performance hindrance. This one is, is not. If you hit this and you go to the uh, thing, it'll tell you uh, Nash is using visible collision. If this is intentional, please switch to the other. It's performance uh, deal. But you can switch to that. I don't do this because I, I don't know that everybody's going to do that. If I share something and they'll tell me, hey man, you know, your collision ain't working. But yeah, I don't use this. I don't do this this way. But that's an option, so you want to do that.